welcome back to our channel. Today I am going to go ahead and film a haul for you guys. Side note, I have actually attempted to film this haul maybe like two or three times now and the first time I just didn't like how it came out. It felt really rushed. The second time I filmed it and the camera battery died like two minutes into it so then I had to use my phone and I didn't think it'd be a big deal but then when I started editing it the quality was just way too different and it was gonna bother me. So now I have my battery charged and I'm gonna go ahead and try and refilm this again. Um, majority of the video is gonna be a little pat pat baby haul and review for you guys of stuff that I got for Jackson. I tried not to buy too, too much for him. Obviously we have a bunch of hand-me-downs for Rowan, but I did want to get a few things that were a little bit more in my style. I feel like a lot of my smaller sizes were just stuff that I was gifted that I really wasn't the biggest fan of. So now that I kind of know what my style is, obviously I've learned with Rowan as he's gotten older, I decided to go ahead and pick up some things that were a bit more in my style. So I grabbed those from Pat Pat Baby for him, as well as a couple things from Spearmint Baby. I will say there's two items that I don't have with me from Spearmint Baby to show you guys, just cause one's in the wash and one is what Jackson's currently wearing. But I do have pictures, so I'll go ahead and throw those up when I talk about them so you guys can see what I'm talking about. And then I also have a few pieces for Rowan that I actually picked up from Zara and Gap, I think. And I figured I'd go ahead and throw those in here to show you guys because I find I have such a hard time finding baby boy clothes that I think are super cute. But these are two stores that I've actually really found a lot at. So I figured I'd show you guys in case you guys have the same style I do so you guys can go ahead and buy your kids some of that stuff. Before we start, make sure you follow us on all of our social medias. I will have them on the screen right here. And then also if you like young mommy videos, lifestyle videos, little baby and toddler videos, make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe. All that being said, let's just go ahead and get started. So first thing I'm going to show you is all of Rowan's stuff just because it's the smallest batch of things and I think that they're really cute and they're also right on top of my pile. So like I said, I picked up quite a few things from Zara and Gap for him. That's kind of where I've been shopping for him and I think I've found like the cutest things that are like right in my style and also have been pretty affordable. So I'm just gonna start with pants cause those are all right here and they're not on hangers or anything. So it's kind of the easiest to get them out of the way. So for Rowan, I got these from Zara in 12 to 18 months. I will say their sizes run a little bit big, but I kind of like that because then you can kind of get more wear out of them. So I have these little like denim joggers and on the back it says always enjoy on me little, if it'll focus, um, leather tab there. I think they're so cute. Honestly, wish they had these in my size because I think they just look so comfy and the fabric feels really nice. So highly recommend these. I don't remember how much these were. If I can find it in my receipt history, I'll write it on the screen for you guys so you know. Then I have these little pants, which I actually didn't purchase these, my mom did, and I think they're so cute, so shout out to my mom. These ones still have the tag on it, so I can tell you, uh, just kidding, I cannot tell you how much they were because it doesn't have it written on the tag, but these are also 12 to 18 months, and they're just these like little linen khaki pants with blue and white stripes on it. And then we have these pants, which are very similar, very linen, like khaki pants, but these ones are like actual pants, whereas those ones are shorts. So these are these ones. Again, what I really like about these is that they are lightweight and they're like that linen fabric. Obviously living in Hawaii, it's not typical for me to throw pants on my kid. So it's nice that these are lightweight and very breathable that he could actually wear those outside and not overheat. And then I also have these little, denim like cargo shorts right here which i think are just adorable again in 12 to 18 months that's kind of the size range that he's in it right now um he fits in some 12 month stuff but for the most part 12 to 18 months and it also has a little leather tab on the back that just says like denim department zara summer edition And then lastly, I have these little pants. I think I have a couple more pairs of pants as well for him, but I think they're still in the wash. So these are the only ones that I have here right now, but I have these little pants. They're shorts technically, I keep saying pants, but these little 
sweat shorts for him which i think are adorable and on it says unstoppable mood always move and be different let's start you can't stop me and then on the back it says you have a big world to run so that's everything for pants from zara i do have one pair of pants here from Cat and Jack, actually. I have a whole bunch from them, but these ones specifically I wanted to show you guys. He's growing out of these, actually. But I love Cat and Jack baby clothing lines. So if you're looking for, like, really cute clothes for your toddler and your baby boy, highly recommend Cat and Jack at Target. They're super affordable. So I'm pretty sure these shorts were only, like, 3 to $5, somewhere in that range. Um, but these are them. They're just this really cute white and teal stripe. So I'm really sad he's growing out of these, but I'm definitely going to go to the store and pick them up in the next size up. But that's everything for pants for Rowan. So the next thing I have are these little overalls also from Zara. And on the back it says, Sun and friends make me happy right over the pocket. Um, again, those run definitely a little big. I got those in 12 to 18 months and that will definitely fit him for a good bit. Then I have this little white sweater cardigan. However, it's super light. Obviously, you would think you wouldn't wear sweaters too much in Hawaii, but this is very, very lightweight, more like cardigan-y kind of fabric. So he could definitely wear this out and about. Also 12 to 18 months. It's that like waffle knit kind of fabric. Then I have this little red and I guess it's like a faded red, I would say, like a rust kind of color with white stripes, 12 to 18 months as well. Just a cute little flowy shirt. Again, that like linen-y fabric. So it's super lightweight on him. Then I have this shirt, which I'm like obsessed with. I think it's just the cutest thing as like an actual shirt or like an overshirt over like a white t-shirt. And it's just this denim with white pinstripes um, and little fish pattern. This item, I believe I got in 12 to 18 months. Yeah, so this is 12 to 18 months from Gap. It's just this little black, white, and yellow trimmed overalls. I think these are so cute. It has a little yellow pocket on it. Again, I love the gap for clothes. I feel like they also kind of line up with what my style is for the boys. And then I have this little piece, which this is technically from the gap baby line, not like the toddler section. So if you're looking for this, um, and it has these little blueberries on it, it's another little romper set. And then very lastly, I have this little denim romper as well for Rowan. Okay, so I believe that's everything for Rowan. I did have a few other things from Zara, but like I said, I think they're on the wash right now. So if I have any pictures of him in those items, I'll insert them here so you guys can see them. But I love Zara. I highly recommend. They're definitely affordable, not sponsored or anything, but they have a lot more affordable, trendy clothes, I feel like. I have a really hard time finding clothes. I'm not a big fan of like the Carter's stuff. I just feel like it's all very overdone no offense to carters but i just feel like i like things that are a little bit more minimalist and not that you see every day if that makes sense so now for jackson i'm gonna get into the spearmint baby stuff just because i have that stuff here and i feel like it's the smallest um amount of things that i have for him i don't have like a whole bunch of these you know what i mean um versus like pat pat where i have like a whole haul of stuff to show and review for you guys um, so for the spearmint baby things, if you don't know what they are, definitely check them out. I think they kind of fall in that like baby boutique ish kind of thing. I will say their stuff is a little bit more pricey, but I think worth it because it's quality is amazing. So I have this little jumpsuit romper situation. I have this in two other colors. That's the things that are in the wash and that he's wearing. So I'll insert those pictures. One's like a beigey gray kind of color. And then the other one is a yellow like checkered pattern. So I'll insert those for you guys. But this one's like this orangey color then i have that same thing just in this style so it's the same color but just this tank top bodysuit and this one's in newborn and i have this little yellow bodysuit i love this yellow color that's the big thing i liked about this store is like the colors they had were so my aesthetic so 
I like this little yellow colored bodysuit, again, in newborn. And then I have these two, which are the same thing. And it's just this green ribbed sleeper in newborn and this cream colored rib sleeper in newborn as well. I will say I feel like the store runs a little small in their sizes. So if you do order from them, kind of take that into account. So moving on to Pat Pat Baby, I will go ahead and just get started because I do have quite a bit of stuff. I will say I feel like their sizes overall run a little bit bigger. So again, I don't mind because that just means they can grow into it and eventually they'll get more wear out of it. But do take note of that if you want it for like a coming home outfit for your newborn, you're going to have to maybe size down. Um, but yeah, so I have these three things that are all the same, just different colors. I have this sleeper. I'm pretty sure I got these all in newborn and they're definitely a little bit big for him right now. And he's starting to fit in zero to three month stuff. So, but I have this like a faded sage green color. I also got it in this cream color and it just has the buttons right here. And then this like orangey burnt color. Um, that all being said, I definitely think quality wise, everything's great. I think there's like one piece that I'll get to that's a little bit thin and feels a little iffy, but everything else definitely feels like solid quality. I would not question its wearability or anything. So next piece, I actually have this in quite a bit of colors. I'll have to sort through this pile and find them all for you guys. But I have this olive green colored ribbed uh, romper, I guess, kind of thing, jumper situation. It's got the wooden buttons up here. And like I said, I have that in quite a few colors. So I have it in this teal color. I also have it in this burnt orange color. And then also in this white. And a very similar style, but just like a short sleeved version of it is this. So it's this little teal. Um, the other teal I showed you is a bit darker. This is more of like a sea foamy kind of color. Um, it almost kind of looks white on camera, I feel like, but it's this teal version with little short sleeves and instead it's short pants, wooden buttons again. And then I have that also in navy. Uh, this is inside out. I'm not going to spend time flipping it. The same thing though in this navy color. And then I have these pieces. I'm really sad because, um, I actually just washed this piece and got one of John's cloths from work in the wash so it actually got some pink on it which I'm really upset about but it's not too noticeable so I'm not that bothered by it but it's just this little orange one piece with gray ribbing that's where most of the pink got as you can see um, but that's that and then I also got it in another color which is this one right here this creamish nude color with burnt orange um, trimming. I did get it in another color. It was blue and I thought it had white trimming and it was so pretty. So I ordered it, came in and looking back at the picture, I was wrong. Um, it was pink trimming. So I have that like in one of my closets right now, saving it for a girl maybe one day. I'm not against putting it on the boys, but it's a little feminine. <laughs> um, so saving it for a girl, if we have a girl one day or if I know someone who has a little girl, I'll give it to them, but till then, no one's having girls, so. Uh, next thing I have is this linen grayish colored jumper. Again, this one's one of those things that's very oversized. Pretty sure I got this in maybe zero to three months, and it's definitely probably not gonna fit him until he's three to six months, but that's okay, because eventually he'll grow into it. It's just one cuter thing that we have to look forward to. And this is the piece that I feel like is a little cheap, not gonna lie. It's this linen orange jumpsuit and it's super cute, but the snaps on it are like these plastic snaps that I feel like I'm just going to rip the fabric. And then also I just feel like back here, the fabric is a little thin and like, I don't know, it's just waiting to get ruined, but maybe it's just like the linen idea of it, but I don't know. It's just a little bit cheap. I'm not upset with it though. It'll be really cute for like a photo shoot and 
the wears that I do get out of it. It'll be great, but just a little note. Then I have this little bodysuit onesie linen fabric again, and it's that darker greenish teal color with wooden buttons. And then last two pieces are actually like the same thing, just different colors. Um, so I have these little jumpsuits. I don't know what you would call these, I guess overall onesies, I guess. Um, but I have this light blue one with the wooden buttons right here. And then I have this one, which is just like this denim color with white stripes. And this one has the little buttons in the back instead of up top. That's everything, you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and link like a couple of other things down below. I'll try to link all of these items down below. No promises, because that's a lot of stuff to find. And specifically Rowan's things I've ordered a way long time ago, so I don't know if they'll even be on there. Um, but I'll try my hardest to link everything down below for you guys. And then I'm also gonna link the pacifiers and the pacifier clips that I've been using for Jackson, just because in my last video, a lot of you guys saw them and were messaging me on Instagram asking what they were. So I'll have those linked down below. And then also some other things that I've just been loving with Jackson so far that aren't in this video, like swaddles and burp cloths and things like that. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's like the fifth million time that I've filmed it. So hopefully in the editing process, this one makes it through because it's supposed to go up like tomorrow so fingers crossed <laughs> but i hope you guys enjoyed this video again check out our social medias they will be on the screen here and make sure you subscribe if you like these kind of videos any mommy videos haul videos i do have a swimsuit zoffel haul coming up in the next week or so I'm still waiting on that package it's been over a month but now i'm just rambling so <laughs> if you guys want to see those videos subscribe to our channel and i will see you guys next time